What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and today we are doing a Poke Market video. We're gonna do things a little bit differently this time. After the Cosmic Eclipse pre release, I'm still super much on a high from that event. So instead of talking about something vintagey, we're actually gonna be talking about Cosmic Eclipse and not so much about specific cards, but the idea of purchasing cards on release um, versus just waiting for letting the market settle. And I feel like this probably affects like people that want to pay play competitively or those collectors that need something right when it comes out so what we're going to start with is actually a sale that ended yesterday so during the time of recording this is still available but by the time we this video airs it will be gone and that is tcg players six percent bonus bucks if you didn't know about this i highly encourage you to follow the pokemon tcg deal subreddit although this one wasn't mentioned or you can also join our Discord. We do have a deals channel, which I kind of post all the deals that I see um, from the various vendors. 6% back, it's not the highest, but it's definitely, you know, now is the time to buy. Uh, holding out for some kind of cash back is obviously better than just buying it when there's nothing there. So uh, I, we'll just go over real quick what I'm kind of eyeing as far as what I might pick up tonight for using this promotion uh, and if you manage to snag something uh, let me know what you picked up I'm super interested to figure out or to find out what kind of collection uh, things are trying to wrap up for me I think I'm gonna go I'm definitely going vintage you know we're gonna be talking about hidden fates but that's not what I'm eyeing I'm eyeing some older stuff a couple binder collections that I still have yet to complete the first one being jungle first edition one thing about TCG player because the, there's another, another jungle set that I need to finish, which is the No Symbol, and I couldn't find very good filters to do that with. So we're gonna just look through the first edition, and yeah, sh we shouldn't be that surprised. It's not that cheap. Okay, light plate first edition of Hollow Flareon, less than twenty dollars. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be cheaper, but I guess that's not too bad. Twenty bucks for that card, and let's just take a look at the handful of the most expensive ones. Jolteon, and basically we're narrowing it down to light play. Light play is kind of flexible when it comes to 20 year old cards, so I feel like that's probably the safest bet. So at least it's good enough condition where I'm happy to keep it in my binder. So there's a couple cards around 20, and then we'll just jump down, and then it probably drops off pretty quickly. Yeah, once we get to, uh, what is this, Wigglytuff, we're already in getting close to single digits. And luckily there's not too many cards, you know, during this time, so we use like 16 or so foils. And then the Clefable number one, it's already in the single digits. So that's not too bad. And then the second one is Jungle or Fossil. I do have the Unlimited Fossil set completed. Same for Jungle. And so we're going for that first edition for Jungle. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Dragonite. All right, mid 20s, still kind of high uh, for a binder set. But I imagine like, once again, it'll drop off pretty quickly. All right, yeah, so, you know, less than less than 10 cards in or again there's not that many so less than five or five or so cards in we're already getting close to that single digit so that's the i think that's what i'm gonna be eyeing for this promotion and again whenever you find out about these things whether it's ebay bucks or tcg player i think that is the time to try to fill in some of these collections especially for sets that the prices won't fluctuate that much so like Shiny Charizard is still probably going to continue to trickle down and probably the best bet is not to wait for one of these promotions but wait for it to hit the bottom or whenever you think that might be. If you can time with the promotion obviously that's better but for these things where the prices ain't going anywhere too fast if anything it will go up very slowly. Uh, just waiting for these 6 plus percent off promotions is the way to go. Alright, Hidden Fates. Super popular <laughs> Big by no surprise when I went to that pre-release event. Uh, I kind of just had my binder of my Hidden Fate stuff and it was, you know, very popular as far as people wanting to trade for it. There is some very interesting movement going on. We're gonna, we'll come back to Charizard. Cynthia, still holding up around that $60. At this point, we're not gonna go into eBay. Ah, oh, these TCG player filters. At this point, eBay is just always gonna be, you know, 10, five, 10, maybe $15 plus or minus, usually on the minus side. Uh, but TCG player will kind of it's just easier to filter out so around 50 is kind of still I think on eBay you can probably get for 40 and then from there it kind of just goes down lately it's still 30 not bad uh, again eBay you probably get it for significantly cheaper and at this point 
I think these guys will just continue to trickle down slowly, but there won't be any drastic movement going forward. That's just my own speculation. As far as sealed product goes, I still maintain never overpay $5 per pack. Uh, the only exception is that premium super duper one that MSRP is for $100. Um, don't, yeah, don't, don't overpay. I think this will be continue to be restocked in all the Walmarts, Targets, GameStops for at least a year, probably more for Walmart and Target. Uh, like this thing will keep selling forever. Let's take a look at Charizard. So not much movement here. We have broken the $300 barrier solidly at this point. There are many listings under 300 and getting around that 270. So still going down, but slowly. Let's take a look at eBay. There's actually, it still seems that once something goes up for that around that threshold, it kind of gets picked up pretty quickly. So that just means that the market might keep it in that price range. And in fact, like we won't see anything in that price range for stuff that's available right now. Uh, this thing is Japanese. So the Japanese ones are coming up more often all of a sudden too. But uh, what I find fascinating is the PSA, the market for PSA Charizard. It's dropping so fast. I mean, I guess the BGS, like, uh, Pristine 10 dropped off pretty quickly from, like, 10,000. But last time, last week, we did our video, and it just got to that $700 mark. So, wow, PSA 10 is already at 700 And that, like, blew my mind. And here we are with a sold listing for 600 So in a matter of a week, to lose for the value to or the market price to go down that much is very interesting to me. It's almost like the P or to buy a raw copy to just get the 10. It's getting close enough. It's like, why would I even pick up a raw copy on the off chance I get a nine? Let's take a look at what nines are going for. There, there are not that many nines. All right, I'm pulling up the PSA pop report. So look at this ratio. There's only two eights. 28 nines and then 122 tens that is like the print quality is so high that like the risk of buying a card for whatever 270 and then the chance of it getting that nine like worst case scenario eight you know versus just paying that premium to guarantee that 10 the, the prices are close enough that i feel like it's actually worth considering if you really want a 10 do you risk picking up a raw copy on the off chance you get a nine and I think once the nines start hit the market, like, actually, maybe it won't, maybe the price difference, like, the nine is actually kind of rare, uh, but it's just not wanted. And so you can pick up that nine for, or has been picked up for 360. There are not that many raw copies on eBay for that. Uh, obviously, they're on TCG Player for about 280. But like, yeah, it's getting so close. It's, you know, do I just get the 10 instead? Um, and I just feel like this trend will continue. The tens will just be flooded. There's gonna be so many PSA tens that it's just not gonna be worth that much. So super fascinating stuff. Uh, just to summarize, Charizard going, continue to trickle down slowly. I think last time we talked about this was like 280, now it's 270, but the PSA 10 is plummeting. Already getting to that $600 mark. All right, the last topic I want to hit is Cosmic Eclipse. And what does it mean to want to play competitively day one to pick up all the new cards? Um, let's just take a look. So I, the weird thing is it's kind of hard to tell because I feel like these numbers don't mean anything, especially when we're still a couple weeks from official release. You know, the prices will go up maybe a little bit. And then I think in a, after a couple weeks, it'll go down sharply once, you know, everyone opens up their cases and stuff like that. But potentially, what does it mean to play day one? All right, there's gonna be a handful of cards that will be 20 plus, getting close to 30, on top with that Rishi Ram Zekrom and then Charizard Brixen. And there's gonna be so much experimental phase where, like, oh, I think this card is gonna be very good, but until we start playing it and start, until the start meta starts defining, redefining itself, we won't know. And then eventually things will shake itself out. There will be some stuff that spikes and some stuff that is, remains pretty low. After looking at this kind of stuff, I'm pretty convinced that I think I'm going to try to test things out on PTCGO. I'll open up whatever boxes I get and we'll see what we can make as far as an IRL deck, but I'm not going to make any purchases for at least a couple weeks after official release. Uh, hopefully at that point some prices start to settle. 
but if we want to take a gander, it drops off pretty quickly. Where Venusaur's not even already down to five. Uh, I think the Oracario, but on eBay, they're just like completely different markets at this point when it's just still that so far out from release. Um, but either way, you know, on release, I think we can expect some cards to be in the 20s, maybe some in the 30s, and these are just for like the base rarities. So again, we're talking about competitive play. Obviously, the max rarity stuff will be higher. Usually, there's always some like some card that like Trolling Toad or whatever vendor will try to sell for like a hundred dollars. But uh, one thing I want to mention is that you know if you're buying some kind of Char uh, Charizard breaks in Venusaur Snivy, is that the promos are going to come out pretty quick this time. Not even a month after official release of Cosmic Eclipse, uh, these guys will enter the market. One interesting thing compared to Unbroken Bonds and Unified Minds, where it was a much longer delay before those uh, tag team tins came out. This time it's quicker, but there's only two, and I haven't heard anything about anything else being released. Um, but either way, let's assume that you know Charizard breaks in is a thing. Uh, we can expect the price to go down significantly now. If this box is not exactly cheap, um, by the way, you can still buy this on Game Nerds. You can still pre-order it, but 37, and let's see what it comes with. Seven packs, although I think this looks like some XY stuff still in there. What was that? Is that Steve? This is Evolutions. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. There's some Broken Bonds, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, so there's some new stuff. Uh, but definitely some, looks like four and three, so probably not a great product, but I think the biggest impact here will it'll drive the price down for at least those cards. And we'll take a, a look at a couple examples just to kind of like justify that claim. Obviously, they are a little bit different. Like the Reshi Ram Charizard had its own box for 30, I believe, and then Mewtwo Mew had that $25 box uh, for the Unified Mind stuff. Which, however, those came out significantly later. But like, just to kind of like cement that point is the base rarity and that promo rarity kind of set the price floor for those kind of things. So if you want to pick up a Reshi Zard right now, you're basically looking at $10, $12. And basically, you know, when that promo came out, I bet it I bet it brought down the base GX to this level. And we can kind of look at that same thing for Mewtwo Mew. I couldn't get it to come up in a single query. But Mewtwo Mew around $12.50, and then same thing for the promo. So, you know, I feel like whenever we talk about all these different rarities and all these different alternate arts, um, sometimes it's kind of strange. We're like, oh my gosh, this... Charizard, I feel like, is the coolest art, and they kind of like just gave away, but I think that's actually a, cute, a very much a positive thing. Um, it's kind of awkward how this, they, sometimes they space it, you can say it's a cash grab, but I do like the fact that it can make playing competitively cheaper. It kind of like sets that floor, uh, you know, it's just a guaranteed way to purchase it. Um, it definitely can't be over 30, otherwise, you just buy the product, and then from there, it's just supply and demand. So um, kind of like my conclusion for this is I won't be going to make any competitive IRL decks, at least buying singles. Uh, you know, we'll open boxes or whatever for the channel, uh, then we'll see what we can put together. I feel like if anything, I'll try to focus on online play just to figure out what decks I really like. And then maybe at that point, a few weeks, maybe a month later, uh, we'll work, make sure we can build a IRL deck. All right, so that's it for today. Um, as always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below if this is a topic you would like to see covered on this uh, channel. Uh, just let me know in a comment. And I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.